So um, the questions that were that were brought up are the right kind of questions, the questions that are being asked around the field. So ideas of um, privilege, what it means to be a, a white Western male practitioner trying to describe visions of the future when you're uh, you're talking about a global, obviously a global situation. Um, the idea of how you communicate the difference between a proposal and a speculation was an interesting one, and that's one that's very difficult to uh, to figure out, but a debate that needs to be had is uh, what well, the difference between tricking someone and uh, bringing them knowingly into a, uh, a speculative mind space. Um, and also the, the, the dependence of this discussion on technology was really interesting. I think that's something that's perhaps not being questioned as much, is why all these designs are so tied to the coattails of technology and what's happening in um, the digital world. Um, I, I speculated in the debate that it was probably because design follows technology so closely. Um, but there are probably other reasons, and that's something that needs to be addressed and, and is tied in as well to the first idea of, of privilege and uh, your position in the world. We live in a highly technologically mediated society in the developed world, and so naturally we turn to technology for critique and our vision of the future. In other places, that may not be the same. Um, and with future thinking now starting to take on bigger, um, bigger subjects like economics and politics and global systems, the technology is starting to take a back seat to some of the wider issues um, that are facing this field and how we design for those wider issues, which is, is good and interesting. Um, it's also, uh, it was interesting as well to debate the role of design thinking in the difference between making and facilitating futures. Um, there's a, uh, you know, dealing with that misconception that these speculative projects and this, this sort of way of thinking about design and design fiction is creating proposals for a future when in fact it's just creating thought experiments, it's creating, um, creating speculations, not so much actual concrete proposals for what the future should be like, so much as suggesting that that's what it could be like and do you want to talk about that at all, member of the audience. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a good debate and it was interesting as well to do it in Milan, which is um, you know, not a space, you, not, the Milan Design Salon is not a space used to this kind of debate. It's very uh, you know, d focused on, on consumer design and commercial design, you know, very bespoke and high quality stuff, but nonetheless rooted in the traditions of design and to bring this kind of debate, um, debate in as a kind of outsider, as an outside perspective is really important and really interesting. Um, and I also think it was an interesting choice to do it this year as a series of debates rather than an exhibition because I think that makes it easier for people to engage with and have a discourse with than a static exhibition which may be harder for people to understand or even easier for them to dismiss.